Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find the derivative of a radical using the three steps rule, and this is the formula for the three steps rule. So in the given, this y the same as df of x. Then to find the derivative, so we have this f of x plus h. So in the given, this x becomes x plus h. So we have the square root of 3 times x plus h. Then plus 5 minus the f of x and f of x is the given. So that's the square root of 3x plus 5. Then all over this h. Then to simplify, so to omit this radical, we just need to multiply the numerator by its conjugate. So that's the square root of 3 times x plus h, then plus 5. So for the conjugate, since this one is minus, so this one is plus, then the square root of 3x plus 5. And also this denominator, the same with the numerator, so we have the square root of 3 times x plus h plus 5 then plus the square root of 3x plus 5. Then take note from the sum and difference of binomial. So if we have x minus y times x plus y, this one is equal to x squared minus y squared. So therefore, for this numerator, the minus and plus, we can use this method. So we can have the square root of 3 times x plus h, then plus 5, quantity to the power 2, then minus the second one, that's the square root of 3x plus 5 quantity to the power 2. Then over, combine these denominators. So we have h times the square root of 3 times x plus h, then plus 5, then plus the square root of 3x plus 5. Then we can simplify now this radical, so cancel, and this one cancel, so we have 3 times x plus h, then plus 5, minus, put this one inside the parentheses, that's 3x plus 5, then over, just copy the denominator, so we have h, times the square root of 3 times x plus h plus 5 then plus the square root of 3x plus 5. Then simplify the numerator. So distribute 3 times x, that's 3x, and 3 times h, so plus 3h. Then plus 5 for the second group, distribute this negative, so that becomes negative 3x and negative, so negative 5, then over, copy this denominator, so h times the square root of 3 times x plus h plus 5, then plus the square root of 3x plus 5. Then simplify. So we have positive 3x, negative 3x. This one is 0. 
positive 5, negative 5, this one is also 0. So therefore, in the numerator, we only have 3h, then over h times the square root of 3 times x plus h, then plus 5, then plus the square root of 3x plus 5. Then this time, we can cancel now this h, so cancel h. So we have now 3 over, so the square root of 3 times x plus h, then plus 5, then plus the square root of 3x plus 5. Then in the formula, since h approaches to 0, therefore, substitute this 0 to h, so this becomes 3 over the square root of 3 times x plus h, and h approaches to 0, so this one is 0, then plus 5 then plus the square root of 3x plus 5. Then simplify, so we have 3 over the square root of 3, this one is x, so we have 3x, then plus 5, then plus, we have the square root of 3x plus 5. Then for the final answer, so we have 3 over, since this one the same radical, so we just need to add the number outside. So 1 plus 1, that's 2, then copy the radical, so 2 times 3x plus 5. So this is now the derivative of this. Radical.